Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode. Well, it's the holidays once again, so happy Honda days or Toyotathon or whatever it is you celebrate. Tis the Christmas season, or at least it was a month ago when I shot this, and I thought my gift to you this year would be the sequel to a shitty video that no one ever asked for. That's right, I'll be shooting none other than Kodak Ektachrome over this holiday season, because at this point, it's becoming tradition. Just like how it's tradition for me to get blackout drunk the night before Christmas, tear down all my neighbor's decorations, and then take a shit in their dishwasher and run it. I think I just act out because I know I'm getting coal for Christmas again this year. I don't shoot a whole lot of slide film, but um, if anything, Ektachrome is the positive film that I've shot the most. For those of you that don't know, slide film is a special kind of film that renders your image as a positive, whereas like a color negative film, like Portra 400, renders the image as a negative and needs to be inverted to make a positive image. For a lot of photographers, the reason they would choose to shoot a positive or a slide film like Ektachrome is because the colors are generally a lot more saturated. However, with this comes sort of a trade-off. Uh, with slide film, you don't get as much dynamic range as you would with say a color negative film. The last time I shot Ektachrome was on my trip to Iceland and a lot of the shots kind of turned out a little underexposed. But that's mostly user error though. I've always thought that Ektachrome was kind of a special kind of film that worked better in certain situations over others, but that kind of thinking is a little unreasonable because I've actually found that Ektachrome renders most scenes quite beautifully. So for this season, I'm gonna be shooting with my Contax T2. As you may recall, last year I shot with my Leica M3, but I've since sold that camera after I accidentally backed up over it in my car. But it's cool, I was able to list that camera on eBay as Mint Plus 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 with four pluses instead of the near perfect six. Well, it was time to start shooting, but first some family portraits featuring our cat Baxter using the self timer on the Contax. Hey Monica, what do you think about the news? The big news today. Kodak Ektachrome came out in 120 medium format and 4x5 film. Well, sh <laughs> Aside from Baxter planting himself under the tree and thinking he's our greatest gift, not much really happened those first few days. But then, it came time to party. Up first on the agenda this holiday season was a Christmas party, featuring all the eggnog you can drink, or butt chug if you're into that. You know I always keep that thing on me. I didn't get any footage of the party because, obviously my hands were full holding the funnel, but I did manage to snap two photos of my friend Franco. Yo, about to shoot a video, uh, the Helios video. You can see here, got the camera, the microphone. Yeah, went to a party last night, brought the Contax T2, and it was like a uh, holiday ski lodge themed party. Yeah, my memory's a little fuzzy. <laughs> Saw Caleb last night, and I uh, got some Cinestill from him. We uh, put in an order. About a week and a half until Christmas now. Ektachrome for 120 came out, and I uh, put in an order, but I guess it's not gonna be shipped until like January, so I don't know if, I'll get it in time for this video. I think that's about it. Yeah. Yo. So, Monica just left for uh, to go home for Christmas. So I have the apartment all to myself. There we go. I got in a few prints that I'm gonna frame up and give to people like my family. Hopefully they won't throw them away this time. I think if you're a photographer, it is a good idea to give prints as a gift if you frame them up and stuff. Especially if it's like a print that um, 
you know, overlaps your interest with them. So like, I'm giving my brother a print, a spot we went to in Iceland, and there's like this really cool story behind it because we met a guy, and that guy told us about this other spot, this really, really cool canyon with a couple of waterfalls. So I thought, you know, the picture that I took there would be perfect to give to my brother because it has some sort of meaning to it. And then the other photo that I'm giving to my brother is a, a photo from our last trip out to Utah. And uh, it was just so, so beautiful. We uh, got up for sunrise that morning and it was just an epic, epic sunrise. So I'm giving him a frame print of that because when you're a photographer and you don't know what to get someone, you get them a print. Here's a bit of relevant film news. Kodak Ektachrome is gonna come to 8x10 film. So that's pretty exciting. So it was time for me to make my annual pilgrimage up to Northern California and see the family. And instead of leaving Baxter behind to defend the apartment with a loaded shotgun and a jug of moonshine, I decided to bring the young lad with me up north. When I arrived, I was devastated to see that none of my presents were X-Pan shaped. So I took an angry stroll around the neighborhood with Baxter and my mom, and of course my sweet contacts T2, which I'm very, very fortunate to have. This time around, I decided to overexpose the Ektachrome by half of a stop because for a slide film, it seems like Ektachrome actually handles highlights pretty well, and that's something I can f with. Back at the house, Baxter was getting used to his life behind bars for chasing the cat around too much, but when he wasn't shanking other inmates or drinking toilet wine, he did have a lot of time in the yard. Let's be honest, this is a Baxter video more than it's a film photography video. The rest of the week I just spent hanging out with my mom and Baxter until Monica flew into town and it was time to go on another walk. So something I noticed about Ektachrome on this go around is that the grain is almost non-existent on this film. I'm not sure if it's like that on other positive films, but if someone wants to explain in the comments why all these images are super smooth, I'd love to know. And just as quickly as the holidays arrived, they were gone, and it was time for us to crawl back to where we came from. Hell, or LA, I guess, depending on your viewpoint. Overall, I'm very happy with the shots on this trip, with this one being my favorite. I think that the lighting and the colors are pretty solid, and what I really like about this image is that there's like a perfectly placed yellow note taped to the garage. 
I think I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what looks best when you're shooting this film. I really like how this film renders uh, orange and red colors because oftentimes I've found that there's a purple or blue cast to a lot of the shots uh, and those colors just go pretty well together. I wouldn't say that my hometown is especially photogenic by any stretch. So maybe I just need to get out and go somewhere new and shoot Acticrome, especially now that they've released it for 120. What else is there to say, really? Uh, Kodak raised their prices and I've been crying a lot more lately. Is there a correlation? Probably.